how biotechnology not only improves the productivity on the farm, but it also has benefits for consumers because it brings uh, different products that have uh, added value for consumers. If you think of health concerns right now, uh, it's a huge concern for the Canadian population. Canadian population is aging, and so you see rising healthcare costs in the future. And so what can agriculture do, and biotechnology in particular, to actually bring benefits to consumers? And there's really a really big area for the future of growth for the future when it comes to biotechnology in Canada. What we don't realize also is that Canadians have, have allocated a smaller and smaller share of their budget to food purchases over the last 50 years. And that's because of the huge innovation and productivity that has allowed us to be more productive at the farm level, and that has brought the cost of food down when it comes to, when it compared to the overall income that consumers have. Food is one of the basic necessities, so the fact that we are, uh, that low-income families are able to spend a lower share of their budget on food allows them to actually be able to raise their overall welfare by being able to allocate some of the income that they have, discretionary income, to other sectors. Well, if you, look at, if you look at what consumers in Canada spend when it comes to food purchases, they spend about 10 cents of every dollar of income that they have on average. Uh, take a, a developing country like China, for example. At the stage of the development that they're at, consumers will spend about 40% of the additional dollar of income that they get on food.